what is up youtube and today we have another leak that was found on reddit and this is for the new ml5 star ml huayang now you're going to see the skills on your screen here as well as her splash artwork she has a dark warrior and this is her s1 infernal strike at the top here single target attack that will give her combat readiness by 15 percent nothing too crazy next up we have her passive so the translation is actually on the right here Basically, she's immune to buffs and debuffs, and at the start of battle, her defense will increase proportionally to her attack. And this defense bonus will not be able to be changed, so attack buffs and stuff like that will not actually boost it up. It's going to be at the start of battle, okay? Next, you're going to see that if an ally, excluding for ML Huayang, takes 40% or more max health from damage after being hit, she will use her S3 on a random enemy. This can occur once every four turns. So her S3 is basically a single target attack on, I believe it's a four turn cooldown. Uh, and then basically this will inflict extinction when you kill an enemy with it. And also if the target is a hero, you'll ignore damage reduction and damage sharing. So just a very hard hitting nuke. And then also if the target is light element, she will do extra damage. And you can soul burn this to do even more damage. So basically, it looks like she's a light unit killer, which is going to be very, very fun because there's a ton of strong light units in the game. Now, whether this unit will be super strong or not will depend on her multipliers and how much damage she actually does. But because all she does is damage, uh, and I guess she's pretty bulky with her uh, S2 passive as well, she's going to be... Um, most likely very strong. I think she'll do a lot of damage. She'll most likely be able to one-shot a lot of those annoying light units such as, you know, ML Tywin and stuff like that. And the fact that she's immune to buffs and debuffs is very, very powerful because you actually will not be able to really control her. So, um, you know, enemies, you know, units such as like LQC, Little Queen Charlotte, that are meant to destroy dark units, for example, you can kind of just stun lock her and just control her and she can't really do what she wants to do. Same with how Fire Huayang was in the past. But now, this unit cannot actually be buffed or debuffed. So stuns and sleeps won't work. You know, annoying venoms won't work. Poisons won't work either. So it's going to make her very, very good in the fact that you can't really, you know, control her. Looks pretty strong. I don't really know if she'll be, like, giga broken or, you know, just super weak. I don't really think there's going to be an in-between because countering light units is very, very powerful and something that we've been needing for a while. And if she actually does a ton of damage, she's going to be, you know, just an amazing, amazing unit. Um, so you can see if you scroll down here, this is going to be her imprint as well. You'll see that her memory imprint uh, concentration for herself will be critical hit chance, which is pretty much the best one in the game. Uh, so she's going to be very, very easy to build. If you have a lot of Huayang dupes, definitely want to put it into her. And she's going to be very, very good at taking down those light units. Keep in mind, this is just a leak. It could be fake. You never really know. But just based off the leak right now, what do you guys think about her? I think she'll be pretty good in the meta and pretty future-proof because the way that Smilegate makes money in Epic 7 is by releasing very strong ML5 stars. And ML5 stars are either light or dark. So whenever there's a very powerful, especially tanky, light unit in the meta, you will always be able to use your ML Huayang for the most part unless there's some like weird mechanic that that unit has and be able to deal with them. And the extinction is very nice as well. And the biggest thing is that this will ignore damage reduction and damage sharing. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this unit. I think she's going to be pretty good. I don't know if she'll be stronger than ML Lua is currently, but I think I might pass on ML Lua and go for Huayang because she just looks so strong. Thank you for watching, guys, and always for supporting the channel. And I'll see you guys next video.